Hey romance readers, welcome back to Adora. Linda here, back with an, finally back with another video. So let's get to it because I got quite a few books here I want to recommend. Uh, like I said, most of these are going to be older books. I think I got one book that's not uh, not uh, that was published in 2016. All the rest of these are going to be older books. So let's get started. And I hope everyone's having a good week so far and continue to have a good week. <laughs> First up I have here is uh, Katie McAllister's Hard Day's Night. Have any of you read this? Um, this was published in... Uh, when was this published? Uh, 2005. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a contemporary. And uh, let me read a little bit of this. Men in tights never look so good. At least that's Pepper Marsh first impression when she attends a jousting competition at the Renaissance Fair in Ontario. An unemployed and unattached software engineer, Pepper has had enough of the computer geeks in her dating pool. She, she, she yearns, yearns for a man of your, a man not afraid to stare deaf in the face and laugh at it. A man with a big lance. Yeah. <laughs> Pepper Cousin has promised to find her a knight in shining armor on the condition that Pepper walks around in witch garb. With her, with her mind on her embarrassingly revealing bustier, Pepper promptly steps into the path of an ongoing steed and, in, and is rescued by sexy Englishman Walker MacPhail. So this was, uh, I really enjoyed this excellent, excellent book. And I like uh, when the male character is English. So it was right on my alley. And it's Hard Day's Night. It's a contemporary though. Uh, next, I have uh, two books here. Uh, both of these are Silhouette Special Edition, and both of these are on the same couple. Uh, usually back then, they didn't do like um, Siri book, but I think she wrote one of them, and she wrote this first one in 1982, and then I guess her fans wanted a continuation of the story because then she came back in 19... Um, 89 and wrote another part to the book. So I'll just read you. I'm just going to read the synopsis of this first one. It is um, Thorn's Way by Joan Holt. Hold? Uh, Holt? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Thorn's Way. And this is Thorn's Way. This is the first book. Uh, Valerie Jordan felt that her own life had ended with the death of her fiance. But she was wrong. Life and love beckoned to her once more in the person of Jonas Thorne, a man of moods, of bewildering arrogance and stunning tenderness. He made her his wife. His kisses gave her breath. His touch lit a fire in her. And with firm determination, he led her into a future brighter than any she had dreamed. So I really enjoyed the book and I was glad to see when she came out with another one. Because I think I mentioned before I used to get these in the mail. Uh, I used to get a lot of Silhouette Harlequin books in the mail when they were doing their subscription. I don't know if they still do it. They probably do, but I don't get them anymore. But I used to get them a long, long time ago, back in the 80s. Yeah. Um, but if you don't like your heroes to be like alpha male or anything like that, controlling, well, this, this, this might not be for you because he's very controlling and he's very alpha male. And that's why in this book, um, they are having some kind of, some marriageable problems marriageable problems because I, I don't think he wants her, her to work and she wants to work so uh, that's going to be Thorne's Way and Thorne's Wife and uh, both of these are by Joan I'm, go, I'm not even going to try to pronounce, pronounce her last name there you go <laughs> so if you haven't read these uh, check them out I'm sure you can find them at uh, on Amazon or in uh, a, a used bookstore excellent excellent book I highly highly recommend them if you like the alpha male type uh, next, I have a historical here by Christina Dodd, Once a Night, and I'll read a little bit of this. Only a threat to her life can make strong will. Lady Alison hires Sir David of Radcliffe to protect her castle. Although he had once been a hero and a master swordman, the good life has been a little too good to the warrior, and he has become as rusty as an old suit of armor, but he needs the money to support his motherless daughter, and Alison is too much is in too much danger to hack her. So if you haven't read this, I highly, highly recommend it. I think I mentioned before that um, Christina Dodd is one of my uh, favorite authors and she, she writes good books. And I really, really enjoyed this one. So if you haven't read it, check it out. I think I might read this again. I'm going to leave this out because uh, I really enjoyed it when I read it the first time. 
and oh when did she publish this uh this was published in 1996. next i have laverel laverel spencer I'm, i hope i'm pronouncing her uh, name right laverel Lavero Spencer and this hummingbird. She's an excellent, excellent writer. I highly, highly recommend her books. Very touching books. She writes very touching books. Uh, very sweet books. And um, this was excellent. It's a uh, contemporary humm hummingbird. And I'll read a little bit of this. The bandit and the gentleman both were wounded in the same train robbery in Frontier, Colorado and left on Abigail McKenzie doorstep to nurse back to life. Gentle loving David, promising her a happiness she lost hope of finding, was all a lady could wish for. Just stood for everything she hated. He was rude, violent, roughly handsome, and disturbingly sensual. So, yeah, we got the old triangle going, huh? You got the good guy, and then you got the bad boy. So, yeah, you know which one she picks. So, this is Laverro Spencer Hummingbird. If you haven't read this, check it out. Excellent, excellent book. Next, I have Karen Rainey. After the Kiss, another historical. Oh, did I tell when this was published? Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> this was published in 1983. And this was published in 2000. So it's not that old. It's 2000. Uh, Karen Rainey, After the Kiss. And I'll read a little bit of this. This was when they was putting the synopsis on the inside of the book. Margaret Easterly is desperate. And desperation can lead to shocking behavior. Beautiful and gently bred, she was the essence of prim, proper English womanhood until fate withered her and thrust her into poverty overnight. Poverty overnight. Now she finds herself at a dazzling, at a dazzling mass ball, determined to sell a volume of scandalous memoirs to the gala's noble host. But amidst the heated fantasy of the evening, Margaret boldly, impetuously shares a moment of passion with a darkly handsome gentleman and then flees into the night. So if you haven't read After the Kiss by Karen Rainey, you need to check it out. Excellent book, highly recommend it. Another historical. Next, I have a, another one of my favorite authors, Linda Howard, Dream Man. This is contemporary. And this is, I think I mentioned on here before that I like psychics and uh, detectives and all that kind of stuff when the uh, detective don't believe that though and the woman is psychic and the detective don't believe her um, I like those kind of books so I read a little bit of this I think this is what this is Dream Man by Linda Howard I read a little bit of this Marley King was trying to lead a quiet ordinary life she thought the knowing the clairvoyance that allowed her to witness crime as they happened had been destroyed in the nightmare of her past then one night it returned with a vengeance and she desperately needed to find someone to make it stop. Detective Dane Hollister of the Orlando Police Department had never met anyone like Marley. He had doubts about her clairvoyance, but there was no doubt how much he desired her. Her soft sweet scent set his blood afire and he wanted to wrap her in his arms and chase the sadness from her eyes. Oh, Dane, Dane Hollister, yeah. I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, like I, and if any of you read Linda Howard, you know she had alpha male character. So if you don't like the alpha male character, this might not be for you. But I, I like alpha male characters and I like Linda Howard's writing. So I really, really enjoyed the book. It's contemporary. If you haven't read it, check it out. If you're into alpha males. <laughs> and last but not least, I have Vi Keelan. I, I've been mentioning her a lot on my channel. I really, really love her writing because she get right to the point. Uh, she Her characters meet right away and they have that back and forth going between them. I, I love how, how she writes her dialogue. And this is The Baller. It's uh, a um, sports romance. If you haven't read it, check it out. It even, it's not even that long, but she packs a lot of story into this little bitty. Yeah. I like the way she ends her book too. She just... I, look, I just love her writing. By Keelan, the baller. And I read you a little bit of this. The first time I met Brody Easton was in the men's locker room. It was my first interview as a professional sportscaster. The famed quarterback decided to bear all. And by all, I don't mean he told me all 
he told me any of his secrets. No, the arrogant ass decided to drop his towel just as I asked the first question on camera. Yeah, that's how this book is going to go. <laughs> Very entertaining. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's The Baller by, by Keelan. So if you haven't read this, you're missing out. And I think she's going to be one of my favorite authors for this year. This is my first time reading her, any of her books this year. And I like how they got these chapters set up. I know some... A lot of books are doing this now, putting the name of, you know, the person who's going to be talking in this chapter. But I like how they got it like slanted on the side. I thought that was really neat. And how they got the chapters in big bold letters. I know you'd be like, what are you telling me about this? But hey, I thought it was really neat myself. <laughs> well, that's all I have for today. And I'm also going to do another video because, yeah, I've been shopping again and I've got some new books and I'm going to share those with y'all uh, as soon as I get this video posted up. So stay tuned for another video from me today and keep reading those romances and I'll see you in a little while. Bye bye.